would you do with a set of magic beans? And would you be brave enough to climb a giant beanstalk to the sky? <laughs> In today's story, Jack and the Beanstalk, we meet a boy who has just such an adventure. Hello there, Reader Adventure. I'm Mrs. McCurley, and welcome to Storytime for Kids. Today, we are reading the classic story of Jack and the Beanstalk. Let's get started. Jack and the Beanstalk. Once upon a time, there lived a poor widow and her son, Jack. One day, Jack's mother told him to sell their only cow. So, Jack went to the market, and on the way, he met a man who wanted to buy the cow. Jack asked, what will you give me in return for my cow? The man answered, I will give you five magic beans. Jack took the magic beans and gave the man the cow. But when he reached home, Jack's mother was very angry. She said, you fool, he took away your cow and gave you some beans. She threw the beans out the window. Jack was very sad and went to sleep without dinner. The next day, when Jack woke up in the morning and looked out of the window, he saw that a huge beanstalk had grown from the magic beans. He climbed up the beanstalk and reached a kingdom in the sky. There lived a giant and his wife. Jack went inside the house and found the giant's wife in the kitchen. Jack said, could you please give me something to eat? I'm so hungry. <laughs> the kind wife gave him bread and some milk. While he was eating, the giant came home. <gasps> the giant was very big and looked very fearsome. Jack was terrified and went and hid inside. The giant cried, Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones and make my bread. <gasps> the wife said, There is no boy in here. So the giant ate his food and then went to his room. He took out his sacks of gold coins, counted them, and kept them aside. Then he went to sleep. In the night, Jack crept out of his hiding place, took one sack of gold coins, and climbed down the beanstalk. At home, he gave the coins to his mother. His mother was very happy, and they lived well for some time. A while later, Jack climbed the beanstalk and went to the giant's house again. Once again, Jack asked the giant's wife for food. But while he was eating, the giant returned. Jack leapt up in fright and went and hid under the bed. And the giant cried, Fee, far, fo, from, I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead. I'll grind his bones and make my bread. The wife said, there's no boy here. The giant ate his food and went to his room. There, he took out a hen and shouted, lay. And the hen laid a golden egg. <gasps> when the giant fell asleep, Jack took the hen and climbed down the beanstalk. Jack's mother was very happy with him. After some days, Jack once again climbed the beanstalk and went to the giant's castle. For the third time, he met the giant's wife and asked for some food. Once again, the giant's wife gave him bread and milk. But while Jack was eating, the giant came home. Be far oh, from I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones and make my bread. <sighs> Don't 
be silly. There's no boy here, his wife said. The giant had a magical harp that could play beautiful songs. While the giant slept, Jack took the harp and was about to leave. Suddenly, the magic harp cried, Hey, master, a boy is stealing me. The giant woke up and saw Jack with the harp. Furious, he ran after Jack, but Jack was too fast for him. He ran down the beanstalk and reached home. The giant followed him down. Jack quickly ran inside his house and fetched an axe, and he began to ch ch chop the beanstalk. And the giant fell to his demise. Jack and his mother were now very rich and they lived happily ever after. Wow, wasn't that a fantastic story? Thanks so much for joining us today, and be sure to hit our bell for all the notifications on our new videos. And until the next time, happy story time. Bye.